Alright, so, where we left off in Pillars of Eternity, we were on level 2 and cleared out level 2, and there was a, like a pool that various Zarps were throwing blood and meat down. Turns out that leads to level 5. Cleared all of level 5 except for the boss with the drake because I'm just not able to handle that quite yet. And got to level 4. We're trying to work our way back to level 2. We did find a door or a staircase that allows us to fast travel out. So if push comes to shove, we'll probably just fast travel out. Because I've cleared almost all of level 4 except for one fight that I... I probably is doable, but the problem being... Uh, I'm at zero campfires, so I gotta select, selectively choose my fights. So let's load our game, level 4. We have a level 2 save from before I drop down to level 5, but I'm trying to work my way back up from level 4 through 3 to 2, which is all clear. Level 4 is mostly clear. Level 5 is mostly clear. I'm going to make some journal notes just to reflect all this. Okay. I figured out how to delete notes, so. Okay, so I have a note to come back and kill the Drake boss on level 5. Let's go create a new note. Endless paths level 4. There's a big slime battle in the center. going to have to come back to do when I have some campfires and I'm better prepared. Okay. This is where the big slime battle is. So I'm just going to kind of work my way around here. Push comes to show if I could go to the stairs back to level 5 and there's a master staircase I could fast travel out. Sure. I really need to conserve my fighting, though. And I did learn about, you know, the proper way of using quick items. So we're going to put some more traps in there. That helps take up, take away some of the inventory space that's being used by my characters. These trolls are tough. Following your lead. I'm going to send him for As you say. Controls is doable. Hi. Navaru, be on seek. To bring us some phantasm because they do pretty decent.
been poisoned. Alright, that's one down. Let's get another phantasm out right here. Following your lead. And what does the flame reveal? Got some more troll flesh. Let's hope for no more battles on this level. Because I still have to make it all the way through level 3. So I'm. Oh. Try and skip past this guy. Sneak out of here. If this is the way, I'm not sure. I, I'm assuming it is because you start out here, so I'm thinking the other side. But we'll see. This does kind of seem like it's leading somewhere. Please, no battle. Please, no battle. Please, no battle. Alright, that looks promising. Let's check for any secrets in this area. Not gonna go down here. We're trying to conserve... skin let's give it to him he's always taking a beating okay stairs up so we're now on level three level two is clear I'm gonna try and j minimize my combat oh did I just walk into this blackie um let's see Definitely on level three. Um, let's see. Attack that guy, him attack that guy. These guys could focus on these guys. Too bad. The, the slimes aren't too bad. The trolls are what hurt because the trolls take so. The trolls have so many hit points and damage resist. Let's get some skellies out here to start working on that other one.
when the wife comes home, I may have to give her a hand with the groceries. Uh, I'll deal with that when it happens. So I may have to be right back just for a few minutes when she gets home. Apologize in advance. Okay, so so far this isn't turning out too bad. Okay. That was kind of brutal mm -hmm. to walk into when you weren't expecting it. Keeping an eye out. saw something over there. Let's go ahead and save. See, if we have to, we could still run back to level 4 and then back to level 5, since most of the way is clear. I'm hoping I can fight my way back from level 3 to level 2, though. I can't guarantee it, though. An ogre. I've never fought one of those. Let's see how this goes. Ogres traditionally don't have a huge amount of damage resist, so you would think it'd go okay. Yeah. But we See if we can knock him down again. human skeletons you want. Right. Margarine's fire casts light in dark places. Ogre blood. Okay, so it looks like I can go down there and up this way. You should see this. Oh, I can't disarm that trap. That's no good. Hmm. Might be the short way out. I'm trying to minimize my amount of enemy contact here. I? What? 
following your lead. Huh? Let's go! Brave Dalfilon! Must be knocked down. Yes, he is. Hey. What? Lavaru. Let's try and knock him down again. Burn him with flames of devotion. Can't use skulls quite yet. Mm. No problem. Okay, let's do a phantasm right there. Uh. Ogre's dead. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. We're gonna avoid this room. It looks like there's a boss in there. There's another ogre. Two ogres. Great. If thou feel our feelings. Gen's ally endurance. Okay, skelly time. Yes.
more accuracy. Oh, thank Maybe that'll help. Okay, one ogre dead. Second ogre coming up, hopefully. Let's try and knock him down. Do one more of my for rest of the enemies. Let's go. Ogres don't die fast now. Yes, if only. Too bad I'm not gonna try because I'm barely surviving this place right now. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. Okay, so let's look at the map. I'm avoiding this area. Can't get past the trap in this area. Now, under normal circumstances with the trap, I uh, can't disarm. I might send a sacrificial lamb forward, as long as they have the health for it. But I can't risk that with the state of my group. Let's try crossing here, see if there's a way up to the next. Uh, what level am I? Level 2. Level 2 is, I know, clear. Because I cleared it. What's this? The work of a moment. Padded armor and floppy hat. More Kickstarter backers. Trying not to explore too much, I'm just trying to find a way back to level two. This guy seems like he wants to talk. Save my game and we'll talk. Cast in orange, orange hues by the guttering torches, a massive creature sits at the rear of this wide chamber. There's an acrid stench of blood and awful about the room, and a hot, malodorous gust wafts towards you as the ogre rises, stirring up the dust beneath its feet. If they had only known how many unwitting fools wander into my camp, I would not have been exiled. Despite his words, the ogre studies you dispassionately. His pale, grim features are streaked with dried blood. But then... I think they have lost the taste for Amawa now that they have feasted on one another for so long. The ogre turns away. I will not be fattened for the eating. You were exiled? Go but a little way south and you'll find what's become of us. Once a dozen strong and now we are nothing. Our great chief, enraged by voices, and our people driven to devouring one another. And I, the coward, wait here to die alone. Easier said than done. He gestures to a heap of bones and cloth. Hunger has a will of its own. Matron Zola knows that well. Who are you? I am Tholgar, once most trusted of Zola's warriors. Once, the ogre shrugs, shrugs a shoulder. It matters not. Uh, okay, we are ready. Uh, you're all starving. Isn't there something to eat down here? We have lived here for many years. The caverns have changed around us. Many old tunnels have been closed. Perhaps it is the spiders doing. For a time we feasted on the Zorips and lived well, but the Zorib tribes have become diseased, poisoned. We did not notice at first, not until we too began to grow weak. Some of us became like feral creatures, maddened by the poison. Matron Zola, strongest of us, she did not go so easily. Her madness came slowly. Some of us went on eating the Zorips, of course, even knowing. 
There was nothing else. They died painfully but quickly. Others tried venturing out into the Great Stair, trying to find a way out. Zola forbade us from leaving. In time. If we cannot find anything... In if we cannot find anything to hunt, then some of us, she said, must sacrifice themselves. Oh, the Lilu puppy whining. Your cannibals? Yes, we have come to that. Even I have tasted it. There is no return from that, I think. I, rem I will remember the moment for what remains of my life. What happened to your leader? Matron Zola. She was plagued with dreams from the moment we came here. Terrible dreams of something down below. She was convinced we should not go there. Tholgar lowers his head. I told her it was nothing. Thought nothing of it until we discovered the poison within the Zorbs. It changed her. Whatever, whatever the voice spoke, she grew harder, colder. Perhaps it was enough that the voice was never silent through all those days and nights. Perhaps the poison made the dreams all the worse. It is harder, perhaps, to see madness in those closest to you, but I should have seen it all the same. Just checking to see if the wife's on. Too late for that now. I should put an end to this, Zola. Yes, if you could do that, then at least we'll be free of this madness. Who knows how long we might remain eating one another until there's but one of us left. Bring me her torque and I will know the deed is done. That our clan at last is finished. Consider this the final request of a fallen ogre, a Moa. Do what I cannot, and I will find some reward worthy of your service. So, new quests that we're not going to undertake right now. Margrin's fire casts light in dark. Places. Oh, a campfire. I'm still going to work on trying to get out of here, though. Oh, that campfire is a lifesaver. Uh, more Kickstarter bar backers will just tab through real quick. Just in case there's some sort of Steam achievement for looking at them all. And done. Okay, so. I'd imagine this is where they're at because there was a green circle ogre, which means someone I would have to talk to first. Be discreet. So let's go down here. I think these are the stairs up, actually. Though worn away by time, many of these alcoves are engraved with Adrian's surnames. More Kickstarter backers, okay. Level I know I finished. That's great relief. It's already all clear. This is the pit that took me to level 5. Okay, so. Now I could head back up. I need to find... I want to go in and clear level 3 and 4 completely. 5 is still a bit out my, outside my grasp, the Drake fight. I need to get a 6th party member, I think. Okay, the wife is home. While these guys are running, I'm going to mute my mic, put
put on B right back, and I'm gonna help her with groceries. I'll just be a minute. All right, I'm sorry about that. I'm back now. So, we are back to level one. Heading out. We need to find a vendor that sells campfires or something. And then I could go through and clear three and four, feeling better about myself. Let's see, how much time left do I have until the thing's built? I'm building, what am I, uh, the Western Barbasan is what I'm building. I trust. I love the music in the keep. It's so Lords of the Ringish. <sighs> Sorry, a little out of breath from helping with the groceries. I'm not exactly in the best shape, obviously. And now I need to 
to rest. We're going to... Where's their vendor? Hmm. Probably the only place I know of that might have a vendor that sells campfires is Gilded Vale. But let's look at the map. Let's go to the Kilded Vale. On the trip there, my building should complete, which will help with security and protect people from coming from the west, I believe. Western Barbison construction completed. Western Barbison bars the passage of invaders coming across the Iski Iron River. Okay, this is the next, because this way I can uh, rest at my keep. So this will be the next. First things first, we're going to go to the Black Hound Inn and rest. Oh, we're going to save before we do any of that. I think it's safe to delete our, delete our uh, Endless Pass level 2 save now that uh, I'm safely out. I only I typically let autosave do its job, and I like keeping one non-autosave. That's just typically how I uh, roll in games. I do one manual save, which is my primary save, and then the autosaves are if I have to roll back or something. Good day to you. Let's just look at what kind of help they're offering. I would like to eventually fill in that last spot, hey, but I don't well want to do a random character. Do you sell campfires? Yes. Uh, we have... It allowed me to buy three campfires. Good. Let's do a, well, let's see, laborer's rest, one perception, one mechanics. Yeah, let's do a laborer's rest. A little high end. They did a lot of work. Now, my plan is to go back to my keep and finish off levels three and four. Now that I have some supplies. And let's talk to that Dick Durant's. He uh, keeps having things av available for me to speak to him about. If doubts and curiosity you know, like these, you. but I don't know. Aethys was the god of. That's a curse that runs deep. There are fewer souls. I feel more remorse in putting down a slathering hound. A wicked. Okay, that's it for conversations huh? with him. He's a great conversationalist. So now we're full on camped, full on rested. Let's go back to Cade Nua. And let us. Uh, venture back into the Endless Pass and clear out levels 3 and 4. Hireling paid a total wages paid 400 copper. Or CP, whatever. Well, that's fine. I keep plenty of cash on reserves. Currently at 5,000. Oh. Is my building done? Oh, no. Finish in 17 hours.
Higher hireling payday, total wages paid. Not bad. Back into the fur for back into the foray we go. I'm thinking I'll go down to level five via the sacrificial pit though, because I'm at my strongest now. And well, level five's already clear. Ah, eh, we'll just go through two. There's the hand of the Adra statue. It's kind of cool. You see the fingertips above ground in your keep. And then on level two, you see the head, which is right there. So let's go ahead and head down. Nice and quiet. So now we're on level three again. We've done all this. Done all this. We can go and explore this area. And we go explore up here, so. go up here first, see what's up this way. The ogres aren't near as bad as the trolls, or the stone beetles for that matter. Let's pull him back a little. Let's go! Brave. Sorry. One second. Have to re adjust my drinks since I was brought up. Orange soda, one of my favorites. Okay, so. Summon some skellies to help finish the whole job. Oh, 
his right. uh, kind of did a double tap Light on his death now. And sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Let's see what's across here first. Sneak, because you never know where there's going to be traps. Impressive statue. How old do you think it is? Housed within a quiet alcove, this stone figure strides boldly forward, one arm held high. Inspect the statue. Judging by the style of clothing and the cracked remnants of a beard upon the statue, Durant suspects that this is the Earl of Yenwood, a lauded warrior. He was known to lead his men into a battle wielding a gleaming saber. A gleaming saber. Got a lot of swords. Can I give him one? Daggers. Estocks. Maybe I don't have as many swords as I think. Rapier. Saber. I may just not have what I need for this. Obviously, you do something though, or else it wouldn't be clickable. Uh. Oh well, come back later. Nice and quiet. Right. Gonna go up and around since I couldn't take that trap out the other direction. It's always the guys in the f the guys are always in the front that I don't want. He needs to get out. Okay. Let's just have him use a couple spells, huh? Oh, things are about to get nasty. Keep him out of danger. <laughs> Let's get the uh, phantasm out, shall we? Follow your 
Stand. Okay, it should be safe for him to come back into the fray. That's it! Great. Three ogre fights sure. did not go that bad. That one added on. Slow. Maybe some sort of drug? Scaffolding has rotted away, crumbling under its own weight. Around it are signs of an excavation. And they don't give you enough time to read it, so I have to tab over. Evidently abandoned long ago. Fast travel. Uh, I guess this would be labeled as Master Staircase, like the one on level 5. So there's a fast travel point out there as well. Good, good to know. And what does the flame reveal? Another ogre. Two ogres. Let's just head back. Yes. Let's see. Indeed. Actually, you know, that's a pretty bad idea. This guy could take a beating better. Let's Following your lead. Devotion. And then we'll do a AOE Third Regen. Let's do another Flames of Devotion. Let's get this ogre dead. Rank 
three, so let's get some skellies out here. Uh, 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 See what lies this way. Let's see what lies just this way, actually. More Kickstarter backers. Just tab through, just in case. So what this is? Let's see if he can just take it out. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Three. Oh, three. Okay, so this time we're gonna use some of our spells. Oh, that's an ogre druid. Let's get the skeleton to distract that druid. Oh, 
Lava will be on sick. Okay, so. That's one down. Let's take the other over. Knock him down. Okay, so far so good. Let's put this guy right here. Following your lead. Roak. Ten. Brave Salfilas. Following your lead. Only so many guys left alive. <laughs> Following your lead. <laughs> Almost. Uh, yeah. But it has to be done. That's what I have left. Following your... This guy's pretty tough. I'm surprised. But I think I got this fight. I'm gonna use a, another a campfire after this, though, that's for sure. And let's get another phantasm out here. Follow your lead. Ooh, that was a close one. I shall be discreet. I think I see something. Yes, you see a trap. The work of a moment. An Estoc. Okay. I'm going to see if I can... Because I ch purposely chose a perception and mechanics buff when I rested so I could try and clear out that particular 
Uh, traps. Let's see if I can. The work of a moment. Yes. Huh? The answer is yes. See if anybody yeah, needs more quick slots filled. So we're gonna use a campfire here. Damage reduction, yes. All my guys are back up to snuff. So let us head here. This is the only place I have on level 3 left to go. Anyways. And I'm currently working on the quest. Uh, or task, I guess I should say. Desperate measures. So let's save the game. Okay, so Let's reload. I didn't handle that correctly. I thought since they had talking circles that they were going to converse first. Apparently I was mistaken. Yes? Of course. Huh. Right. Actually, it looks like I'll have to handle it that way, but at least I can maybe power down this ogre. Oh, let's get the skellies out here. That's it. So unfair that knockdown. Must... 
Raved out. Oh, I'm about to get wiped out. Let's go. Without even That's killing one of them. Following your lead. Navaru, be on seek! Be another boss fight I have to ignore for now. I just. I can't keep my guys alive. I can't keep them on their feet. Follow. Roll up 10! Finish them all. Ah! Lava will be on the seat. Lava. If I could just get the ogre, be on the seat. I'll be in fine. The ogre drew it. I mean. He still has that much health left. May I help? This isn't going as Arthek worth and rough. This is not good. Well, I lost that one. What can I do different, though? What can I do different? I may just need a sixth party member. 
which I don't have as of yet. Let's go to level 4 and see if we can do that um, slime fight and finish clearing out level 4. So we got the Drake boss fight we can't quite do yet, and that Ogre boss fight which we can't quite do yet. Um, we got this, all this to explore. So maybe we'll find something that can help us. But first I want to put a note in the journal. Finish exploring level four. Sure. Those ogres just have a crap ton of hit points. Slimes aren't that bad at all. Following your lead. Looks like that leads across. Let's keep going down and see what's down here. Control's not too bad. Amount. Following your
Yeah. Let's go! The slimes aren't bad at all. Brave does the last Keeping an eye out. Okay, so I still need to f clear out this room and then cross the bridge. There's at least one troll in here. Brave does the last nearly. down very easily these trolls. Yeah. These ones are in for a walk. Yes. Six thousand one. Roll up ten. See one troll, I don't there's no problem. It's when they start throwing three overs or four overs or two overs plus a boss over. Uh multiple trolls I had uh, things become difficult. Let's go. Brave does the last nearly. Doesn't look like I attracted that other ogre. Good. Spell book report. <laughs> no, 
Now we get to bring out the phantasms. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. What? Let's do another knockdown attack. Flames of devotion. Let's try and keep him knocked down. Let's do another Flames of Devotion. Okay. Dagger. I think that's it for this room and all its trolls. Let's go around the centerpiece, make sure there's nothing there. this bridge to cross. We've got this area in here. Let's check out this bridge area. Traps along the way or secrets. Three. Okay, let's start taking out these stone beetles. Them out since we're in limited space here. Yeah, great.
can kill him at any point. And what does the flame reveal? Beetle shells. Yummy. Okay, so it looks like this is leading into that big fight. So let's save our game. Brave Dalphilatili. Down the slime, flames of devotion. The slime. Let's get everybody on this stone beetle. Except for him, he can stay on that stone beetle. He can attack there. He can flames into motion now. How bad? Get a phantasm out here yes. in case anybody faces on the casters. Attack that ooze. He can attack that ooze. He can magic missile that ooze. He needs to keep on this guy. He needs to keep on this guy except to try to knock down. This guy can do that. <laughs> Kitty. Don't trip over my cord, please. Okay, everybody on that stone beetle. Stone beetles have some hit points. Okay, let's send the skellies out. Following your lead. To attack that black goose. Let's go. Okay, he's going to do some healing. That's. Not very helpful. Oh. All right. Now to the black black ones. Yeah. Ah! Ah! 
Like that, that battle is won. Right. Laying low. Let's see, we got a potion of minor regent. Let's just give it to him. Then a bunch of garbage. Craft ingredients, I would imagine, or enchant ingredients. Resolution. Unique saber one-handed. It has been alleged that the saber resolution can be traced back to an ancient line of warriors. Wonder if this is the sword I need. predating the formation of the Aedir Empire. Though the, legitimacy, though the legitimacy of the claim has always been in dispute, what is known is that the saber has been passed down through generations of Yenwood earls. This is the sword I need. Having accompanied them across the sea during the colonization of the Deerwood, the saber was held as a symbol of their noble lineage, and most formal portraits of the family include the blade in some respect. It was the youngest of the line who endeavored to repair the weapon so that it might serve more than ornamental purpose. The blade was reforged into a weapon that struck hard and true, and the young earl wielded it during his efforts to reclaim the keep of Cade Nua, traditional stronghold of the Earl of Yenwood. Both sword and bearer were lost, never to be seen again. Several missions were undertaken to retrieve the weapon when the War of Defiance arose, but none met with any success. It's a good weapon, too. I wonder if it's worth putting in the statue or if I should use it on one of my characters. But let's put it on him. And we'll just... So, let's see. We still have to go explore up here. Everything's done up here. So, level four, I think, is complete. We're not missing any boss fights on level 4, so level 3 would be a boss fight. Level 5 would be a boss fight. Both levels that have their own... Uh, that have their own uh, fa fast travel points for the endless, uh, endless paths. Let's finish exploring over here. This is where the... When I was fighting the ogres over here, these guys came from over here. What do you suppose that Bali thing is? I don't know what that valley thing is, but let's find out. Peridot. Ooh. Glad it was hidden. Somebody really wanted to keep those peridots from being found. So we... The head... This is the head. Gotcha. Hello, let me talk to you, sir. This massive face appears to have somehow been shaped out of living adra. Each ridge is smooth and straight. Solid adra, hewn like marble. No, not carved, shaped. So that's to level five. Level five is clear except for the Drake fight. But I got this sword for level three, so let's head back there. So level four is now clear. Huh? Hold on a second. There's... Yeah, that's just a bridge. This is the only place on level 3 I haven't cleared because that boss fight's really tough. Uh, there's the statue.
Has within acquired alcove, the stone figure strides boldly forward, one arm held high, as if missing a sword. So let us add the sword. The sa saber slides easily into place at first, but for the last short space you find yourself having to push. You hear a hollow clunk as the statue's forearm suddenly shifts and rotates. You hear the rattling cry grind of some mechanism behind the walls at the statue's back. Closer by, the sounds of scraping stone proceeds a nearby wall shifting out of place to reveal a doorway. Alright. Wait, can I have the sword back? Remove the saber. Does it close? No, I keep the saber. So now, it's a one-hand sword. One-hand saber. I like my paladin to use crushing weapons. He uses a one-hand sword. Uh, I'm happy if they're weapons, so let's see what he has. 17 to 24 slash damage. Properties for liable slain of, of constitution of will. So let's do a quick comparison. Okay. Plus 5 accuracy against spirit. 20% of grazes converted to hits. 25% damage against spirit. 2 constitution. Minus 3 will. Enchantment 8 of 14. And this one is quite a bit more damage. Plus 20% damage. 0.5 to crit damage multiplier. 20% of grazes converted to hits. Plus 4 accuracy, plus 15% damage. Huh, which is better? They both have 20% of grazes converted hits. Plus 5 accuracy and 25% damage against spirit. How often do you fight spirits, though? Plus two constitution, minus three. Oh. I think the resolution is the better sword. So we'll give that to him. Margrin's fire casts light in dark places. Okay, this is the new area that opened. Bright Hollow Restoration complete. Okay. Restoring Bright Hollow will allow you to rest there. Other upgrades can unlock rest and bonuses for it. Okay. The Bailey House has various necessities for keeping the stronghold self-sufficient. Building this upgrade will allow you to upgrade the grounds further. Uh, uh, the towers of Cadenua stand high above the walls of the stronghold, upgrading the towers with grander perception bonus. Let's do the south curtain wall. Next. Found something. I want to see what I can do. Not if you can't get past my own guys. Come on, you can get it. Okay, that's good. More backers. Let's just do this real quick. Just in case. I'll have it in no time. The work of a moment. Oh, that's unimpressive. Lock picks and money. This looks more impressive.
Tri What's this? Tested, expected. The work of a moment. Yeah. Unique quarterstaff too. He uses quarterstaff. Let's take a look. I don't think any of these weapons are going to be enough to get me over the ogre hump, though. Eighteen to twenty-five crush damage, sixteen to twenty-two crush burn damage. Speed increased reach. Fine. Okay, so let's see. So Lyran stick. Eighteen twenty-five crush damage. Plus twenty percent attack speed. That could be good. One point eight weapon read. That's a wash. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, I'll I'll use it instead. Okay. Now the question is, what do I have to do for this? Let me make sure I got everything. Yes. This ogre battle here. Move my guys over there. party's fifth level. You'd think I'd be doing okay. But I don't know what level the beasts, the, the beast is either. The, the boss ogre, so to speak. Maybe I need to enchant my gear and work on that stuff. So let me take a look at what... Let me save. See if what? Durant has anything to talk about. If doubts and curiosity play, she's a goddess. Huh. I suspect the answers before. I just some oh, hmm? I didn't mean to quit that. <laughs> if doubts and curio Okay, so no more <laughs> talking for him. <coughs> so um, I guess let's look into enchanting our gear more. Known recipes. Um, burning lash, twenty five percent burn damage, twenty five percent. Shocking Lash is now on there. Guess that made that more powerful. Let's see about a shield. Enchant blue items can only enchant uh, yellow on up items of constitution, intellect. Yeah, let's do constitution. That's all I can do for him. Let's enchant 
Got some stuff for him. Fine. Enchant. Of constitution. Enchant. Maybe they'll, they'll give me the edge I need. I think that ogre druid is wilder, I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong about that. I may be totally off base. I guess I could look at the bestiary. Let me look at the beast area. I could be totally off base here. Journal, encyclopedia. Is there not a beast area? I thought there was. Oh, there it is. Ogre. Ogres are wilders. Okay. What are you doing, Kara? Hello. Hello, kitty. I don't trust you not to eat my cables. Uh, so, okay, so let's enchant. Okay, we already enchanted him. He has nothing to enchant. He just has his outfit. Which can't be enchanted anymore. Okay, so. I mean, that's probably as good as I'm going to be able to get it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's save, attempt it. And then I'll load and camp if I die. And then attempt it again. We need to try and take out that druid. so damaged. I 
can't even get him down a single... I don't know what to do. I? I was down. Barely had any oh, spells yet. Stand. Can I not do this fight? Does it say what level they are or anything? I mean, my guys are decimated already. I have no chance. What is the best course of action, though? Let me try this. See if the da extra damage reduction helps. It's just, it's such an overwhelming fight. Solmar the Shackler, a slaver from Red Ceres, has arrived at you. Keep seeking your counsel on some business matters. He's a bad visitor. Oh, well, as soon as I'm done with this, he's going to uh. be taken care of then. Not very helpful. Guess that's that one down. Cover from that first. Hey. Uh. 
Hi. Okay, that's not good. Follow your stance. Hey. Lava How may I help? Lava room. Beyond seek. Let's go. Yes. All right. So just him left. Zola's going down much easier than the Ogre Jug. Following your lead. This is all very distracting! Done that. Maybe I'll be able to get some ex enough experience to level. Taxes collect. Let me see what that says. Lost 170 CP to bandits, earned 360. 316 CP. 
Wait, am I that low on money? I am. Ooh. A rusted shield decorated with a many leaf tree adorns the wall. A small engraver at its base reads the Earl of Yenwood. I think I see something. Ring of Overseeing. Okay, so this goes to him. This goes to him. Blood zones go there. 10% area of effect. It's definitely a him thing. Let's see, the ogre is up here, I believe. So that would be le the only th level four is clear. Level three is now clear. The only thing I have left is level five, which has that Drake fight. I'm not ready for yet. Dolgard runs. Is it done then? Have some questions for you. How did you come to be stranded down here? We were hunting Zarbs through the caverns and isolated them in the caverns above. We what we thought that would suffice for a time. And it might have if the Zarbs has not recently grown sick. Now their poison has infected us and so will not let us leave, even if we try. Do you know anything about a master blow? Dolgar gives you a searching look frowning. That is what Zola called it, the voice in her dreams. After we came, we began to have terrible visions. We would feel a presence sometimes. I thought it superstition until I heard it too. And then I thought it an effect of the poisons we were eating. And now you come seeking it out. I do not know what this master is. I know only that it was this creature which prevented us from moving deeper into this place. Zola refused to lead us down into the depths. He grunts, perhaps this is where you will find it. That's all the questions I have. Give him Zola's torque. Zola is dead. Dolgar takes in a deep breath. He is silent for several moments. Then it is done. Thank you, Amoa. That was not my mate in there. I will not remember her that way. Lost Zola's torque, but gained a bunch of experience. Here, I will not the need this where I go. Use it well. You have gained an item. Rundle's finery added to inventory. All right. So we're going to head back up to the keep because i got to deal with some shit that's been going on. Let's make sure there's nothing Steady to hide desert. behind the ogre. Doesn't look like any of my guys got the... Okay, Rundle's Finery. It's light armor. Who wears light armor? Medium. Light. Heavy. Medium, so he wears light armor. Recovery speed minus 15, 2 intellect, 2 lore, enchantment. Let's enchant it some more. Can't. So. To be honest, he should be wearing light as well. Cover speed minus 30%. There, I like that better. I mean, he needs the 15% recovery speed so he can cast more spells and stuff. fight was pretty rough. Let's 
go fast travel to the keep and see what the hell's going on. So I've gained the ability to fast travel to level 5. And level, I'm currently at level 3. Then there's level 1. I want to go to... Oh cool, see, you can actually see it shows a picture. Here's the head. Here's the hand. The fingers are above ground. Then there's the torso. Okay, so I have Solmar the Shackler, a slaver from Red Ceres, has arrived at your keep seeking your counsel on some business matters. And this guy's an asshole. He's a slaver, so... I don't know if slavers are normal. But he's not going to have a very well, warm welcome from me. I don't do slavery. So Lords of the Rings ish. Do, do. It makes me want to go watch the Lord of the Rings movies, is what it wants. It makes me. I'm glad you're here, my lord. My name is Solmor. I have a matter of some importance to discuss if you have the time. Eh, let's hear it. You gesture for your allies to join you and take your place upon your throne. I'll cut to the meat of it. I have a dozen Orlon slaves and poor Ed Guerrera. Good, healthy stock that will fetch a fine price in Ixmatil if I can get a ship up the coast. That's the uh, tricky part. I haven't got the coin to stock a ship for the whole journey. Not without docking at a Deerwood port along the way and running the risk of having my goods seized. Really, these Deerwood laws are completely impractical for any honest merchant traveling outside of Di Defiance Bay. Yeah, because a slaver is an honest merchant. I guess in your period it is, but I, I just don't hold much truck with them. I hope you could be of some assistance. You're not originally from the Deerwood, I hear, so surely you understand. I think you should continue up the coast. I'll help you sell those slaves. Continue as before? That seems unwise, I'm afraid. We've taken care to avoid foul weather, but we could do little about any meddling officials at the port. Trust me, you won't have any trouble. On second thought, perhaps, at the port. You'll find they're less inquisitive in New Amar. Dock there and you'll have no trouble. I don't want to help this asshole. Indeed, perhaps there's some other way. I don't want to not help him. Let's see, what are my options again? I guess go lower four. Truly, then I was right to come here. Your advice is saving much time and money, my lord. Thank you. He was going to sell those slaves anyways, and I had to get him out of the stronghold. Hmm. Solmar the Shackle leaves the stronghold. I trust all is well. Please let me know. Okay, so I think I need to go find a vendor to sell some of this excess armament. The crappy stuff, not the good stuff. Right. I'm a pack rat, so I like to keep one of everything at least. But the duplicates can go. Uh, so let me go to Gilded Vale. I guess that's the only place I could sell that I could think of off the top of my head. But I need the cash. I'm almost to the next level. Level 6 on my characters.
I'm thinking I may change my format to this. Yeah. Welcome. High to low sell value. Okay, I'm not going to sell any of that stuff, but like these are of course staffs. I only need one of those. War bow all the way to here. I only need one war bow. One quarter staff. One pole axe. One pike. One hunting bow. One great sword. One estoc. One crossbow. One small shield. One medium shield. One medium shield of this type. Cleaning up inventory and making money at the same time. Can't go wrong that way. One sort of champion spear. One wand. One sword. One saber. One rod, one rapier, one mace, one hatchet, let's see, dagger. That's all the weapons. Let's take a look at armor. Only need one plate. One scale. One robe. One padded. There are 
they're different types of leather armor. I only need one of the each of those types. Breathing priest robes. Clothing of different types. Can get rid of two of these simple clothings. Brigadines only need one. Only need one hide armor. like I need to scroll through and the way it jump kept jumbling it around I think I sold one of the leather armors I shouldn't have should be three types of leather armor Got that type. Need to take that type out. Okay, I don't see any duplicates. It's probably enough for now. Let's just trade that. about this other stuff for now. Let's see what the crafting is for. Can create a bunch of scrolls, but I've got I've, I'm finding scrolls along the way. Potions and food. Okay. I think we're in a better situation now monetarily. Let's go take a rest at the inn. Pretty soon I'll be able to do that on my own at my keep. Good day to you. I'd like a room, please. Thank you. So, we finished level 3 and level 4. That means I could take some of the notes out. I think it's time to start heading towards... Uh, and that's fine. I have two quests for the Endless Pass, but just can't do it yet. Not much past five. Not past five, anyways, because of that boss fight. So, I've got... So, i got two tasks involving the Endless Path. Two quests involving the Endless Path. One, just traveling with Durant's. One in Defiance Bay and another in Defiance Bay. So I think it's time my party hits to Defiance Bay. Yeah. Oh, we 
got a puppy visitation. Hi, Lilo. Sure. Uh, hold on a sec. Sorry about that. Apparently it's storming, and storming scared the puppy. And that's why the puppy's in here hanging out. So, let's see. I've gone to all these areas. Can't go there yet. I can go to wooden plain, wooded, wooden plains. Haven't been there. But I think I need to go here, because this is Defiance Bay. This is where I have a bunch of quests. Uh, so let's go to Mad Mare Bridge. It takes 18 hours. I'm fine with that. I think I kind of started combating enemies above my party's level by going to the Endless Paths. Now comes fighting. Well, not fighting. Ex uh, uncovering the fog of war. Wait a second. I thought he had the non-fire sword equipped. He does. Oh, I guess because I enchanted it with fire. Okay. Oh, I forgot when I'm out in right. open like this, I tend not to uh, sneak unless I'm in an area. And what does the flame reveal? Like this area. map, make sure it doesn't like cover or anything. Same over here. Definitely think I passed by the story content level. The orbs are going down really quick.
Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. Fine hatchet, camping supplies, yay. walk in the park compared to the endless paths level three, four, and five. Stand Lay in low. Keep on watch so we don't want any trouble. Freight end of the rope drifts in the river. Ferry cargo. A variety of muddy goods salvaged from a wrecked ferry, primarily sodden clothing and dirty food. I'm fine with that. I'm stealing from looters. They deserve to be stolen from their looters. Looters stealing things. Okay, so this hat gives you immunity to confuse of intellect, too. He needs that. A 
Hello. Hello. Somebody to talk to there. Curse my luck, the woman mutters, kicking her foot into the ground and upturn a cloud of soil. As you approach, her ears twitch and she turns to greet you. Hail, traveler, she says with a half-hearted hand wave. The bridge to Tavine Spay is out. If that's where you're headed, you'll need to find another route. What destroyed the bridge? The river has been rising on account of all the storms. Here, where the river narrows, the flooding did the most damage. The Orland woman folds her arms, a scowl overtaking her face. Guess they, they don't make things to last around here, do they? One of the stone's columns clapped, collapsed in a flash flood, taking the whole middle section of the bridge out to sea. Madmer Bridge was the most direct route from Gilded Vale to Defiance Bay. Merchants and travelers now have to find boat passage or add days of extra travel to loop around the bay. So I started a ferry service that can I earn some coin and help others cross over to the bay. Paragon shakes her head, her ears twitching as she speaks. And that was a bigger mistake than that time I allowed a cipher to court me. Mistake? How so? I had been attempting to turn a quick copper, but she bites her lip, her face turning flush with anger. Just my luck, the blasted currents threw my ferry into the rocks, dashed it and my profits to pieces. Making matters worse, when I went to prowl the shore to salvage whatever ship it creates to sink, a pair of looters attacked me. She stomps her foot into the ground. The damned brigands had the nerve to attack. I managed to avoid harm, but but now they have stolen by force all that is left of my fortune. She eyes you for a long second, her hand cupping her chin. You know, you look like you'd fare better against those looters than little old me. Could I enlist your help? Show her the cargo. Would these happen to be your wares? Defiance... Why is that a minor negative for Defiance Bay? What is in it for me? You would make a good merchant, Paragon blurts out with a laugh. I'd worry if you didn't inquire about your own profit motive. She scratches her ears, blushing as he speaks. I'm a bit destitute at the moment, but I have a shop over in Defiance Bay. If you help me recover my merchandise, I'll sell you whatever you want for a bargain. Eh, give her the cargo. It's a minor negative. Why is it a negative? I'm helping a merchant rather than some filthy looters. Paragon's ears twitch with excitement as she dropped the supplies down in front of her. Thank you. I was beginning to think it had all sunk to the bottom of the river. She reaches into her tuna po tunic pocket and hands on to you. Consider this a small token of my gratitude. I, w I will reward you properly when you visit me at my shop in Defiance Bay. I was kind of hoping she was going to be a party member. Yeah. I'll see what I can find. Still not quite enough to level up experience wise. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah. Okay, that looks as far as I can go there. So it looks like everything else is across the river. Via the stone bridge. Probably gonna call the stream soon. Gonna finish this bridge section and see where it takes me. Talk to these NPCs here. game it's been a while for me it's been a while anyways let's talk to city exa as you near you feel a vibrant history contained in the essence of this man's soul voices from its past seem to call out to you reach out to the soul you see the interior of a small dark shop the shelves are covered with a variety of goods some commonplace and others a little more exotic variety this man wanders the shelves of the shop smiling and fondly touching the items he maneuvers through the aisles, the only person in the shop. He stops in front 
of a large display is shown the model of a lar large worm. A plaque in front of it detailing information about its natural habitat, food preferences, and mating rituals. He moves on, wandering from display to display, stopping at each one to take it in. He looks out the window at the front of the shop and sees the sun has broken the building line. People are wandering the market, stopping into shops and loitering at the stalls, looking for a bargain. Standing before the front door, the man turns back to the shop and smiles again. He then unlocks the door and pushes it open, lighting in the sounds of the market. So he's a merchant. Well, I already knew that. Vanessa Smedley. As you near, you feel a vibrant history. <laughs> okay. You see a crowd doubled over, sharing bouts of laughter as a mischievous-eyed woman relates a tale of her last adventure involving an unusually self-conscious troll. She has them exactly where she wants them as she throws out the punchline, sending anyone who hasn't already who wasn't already smiling into tears of laughter. She curtsies at the crowd with a flourish and a wicked grin and makes her way to the bar, quickly followed by a legion of eager suitors, each trying to buy her affection with a drink. She turns each of them away, but none leave without a smile. She enjoys her drink, content, and starts to scribble down the begins of her next performance, laughing at her own jokes. Lars Nissen, reach out for the soul. You see two figures, a human and a mala, stand in front of this man. <coughs> Pardon me. The human just stands there, fuming, while the Amao is yelling, red-faced with fury. He is leaning forward, a stream of profane Im imagery flying from his mouth. His face rapidly turning purple. The man stands straight in the face of the onslaught, unmoving, a bemused smile on his face. He holds a rapier nonchalantly by his portly flank, point down, but his hand is tightly grip gripping the handle, his knuckles white. The Amawa stops yelling, pausing only long enough to take a breath, intent on immediately starting again. The man holds up his left hand and begins to speak during the brief silence, trying to defuse the situation and cut off continued abuse. The Amawa makes a grunting noise and pokes the man on the breastbone to stop him from speaking, leaving the finger against his chest for emphasis. The man with the rapier tilts his head down, looking at the finger resting against his chest, then looks back at the Amawa without moving his head. The Amawa realizes too late that he just crossed the line. The man grabs his hand, squeezing and twisting it. There's a loud cracking noise and the Amawa cries out. The man raises his rapier and punches the Amawa, using the handle as an added heft. There's a second crack and the Amawa collapses to the ground, unconscious, blood pouring from his nose. The second stranger looks up from his friend's lip by to see the tip of the rapier already pointed at him, a flat, unfriendly, and serious look on the face of the other end of it. He raises his hands in defeat and backs away, turning to run when he is far enough away to ensure he won't be caught. The man turns to leave, the smile slowly returned to his face. It seems the Deerwood sees its share of floodwaters. Light, flame, we'll have to go and sound. Around. We'll keep to ourselves. That sucks. I thought this was the place I had to go to get you to might find this interesting. the next area, but apparently not. Uh, Jolted Touch, give it to him. Let's talk to this guy. Another soul means a lot of reading. You see a battlefield covered with bodies. There's death everywhere. The sound of metal on metal ringing over the core stained ground. The cries of the wounded fill the air, occasionally masked by the death knell of another casualty. This man is running, but from what you cannot see, his breath comes in labored gasps. His eyes are wide and terror-filled. As he runs, he wrestles with a blood-spattered tunic. He tears at the fabric as though it burns his skin, his desperation eliciting small mewling sounds from the back of his throat. His foot catches on an arm, sticking out from a pile of bodies he is trying to maneuver around, and he spills forward, landing on a fallen so soldier, looking into his dead eyes. The mewling increases in intensity as he scrabbles backward, trying to push himself off the body. His hand slips on blood-slicked armor, and he topples to the side, landing on his back. He starts shaking his head, cheeks wet with terrified tears. Tears. He pushes himself to his knees and he surveys the field, eyes wide, breathing so quickly he's almost hyperventilating. Stumbling back into motion, his hand returns to the tunic, eyes swinging wildly about, surveying the carnage around him. His frantic fingers finally tear the tunic from his chest and he throws it to the ground, the sounds of battle still echoing in his ears as he flees. Okay, so if I can't go here, 
then I guess... I guess I leave and see where else I can go. See how long I have. One day, eight hours for the South Curtain Wall. Why is slow mode active? I didn't realize I activated it. Okay, let's see where, where to go now. Let's see if my quests say anywhere. Hmm. They don't really say where to go next, so let's see. been to all those areas. The only place I do can go is Wood End Plains. Let's go there. It's gonna take one day, 22 hours, okay? South Curtain wall construction complete. Hireling payday. Total wages paid 400 copper pieces. I guess it's not copper pieces. What is it? Uh, currency. I don't know. I know they call it something weird. Do something cheap that takes two days. I'll see what I can find. Okay, I think we're gonna call the stream there. We're gonna save. And I appreciate all those who came to watch. Uh, Y'all have a good evening. I'm going to go relax with the wife and probably watch her play Fortnite or watch other people on Twitch play Fortnite because that's her thing. All right, you take it easy. Have a good evening. See ya.